It's time to return to Destructobot with Destructobot vs. Dinosaurs. Yeah, this was like one of the first maps out there for the marketplace, one of the first. So it's kind of exciting to see a, a follow-up to it because I wasn't expecting that. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs everywhere! We need experienced soldiers to mission control ASAP! If you need a refresher, you better head to boot camp. Stat! Right to mission control. I know what I'm doing. And I'm ready to battle the dinosaurs. Let's roll. Med bay. It's not open. You can't go to med bay. And they really uh, streamlined and made this all sleek. Oh, cool. Really cool. Oh. Yeah, I am impressed by this. Look at them! Destructobots! They're so beautiful! We got way more than just four suits, but they need to be recovered from the field first. Then we can light them up! Doors opening. Please stand back. That is insanely cool. That's where you like pick your missions. I guess we're boss hunting. Should have filtered through the my bad. Let me lay it out for you, soldier. We've got a big problem, and she's called Verity Bell. She Damn, believes that's cool. the dinosaurs should take over the world. She's let loose a huge dino army, and they're wrecking the nation. But we have a plan to counterattack. Verity has three massive dinosaurs. And this and is Minecraft. All the other dinos follow the big ones. If you take them out, they'll be leaderless, and we can clean up the rest of them with ease. Intel tells us that it's a huge T-Rex, a massive Triceratops, and a gargantuan Stegosaurus. Find them and take them out, soldier, and we might just win this fight. Very well. Alright, let's get rolling here. So this is the narrative Go, part soldiers. of the Shoot game. Up. Oh, we're Go talking. Go find those three dinos and get them. What? Infiltration. Soldiers, get in a destructo bot and get out there. Don't give up. Defeat the dinosaurs. <gasps> destructor bots? I don't think so, Commander. Better for you and your little tin cans to return to the shelf where you belong. Old, useless, irrelevant. Soldier, this ain't boot camp no more. Your weapons are rigged to explode. Blow open that door. Bring as many machines as you want. You won't win. My beautiful children are far more powerful than your tin can suits. Ruin them, my darlings. Okay, now we can kind of go into it. So yeah, like I was saying, this is the story element of play. So we got our giant uh, kind of mech suit up. We got to go hunt three dinosaurs. So aside from this part of the game, there is a... Ooh, wow, we are getting absolutely cut up here by those dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> there is a last stand mode, so basically in that one you are fighting off against waves of dinosaurs in a few different areas. So you've got places such as like residential, industrial, and we'll show that off towards the end so you get an idea of what that looks like uh, gameplay wise. So here we gotta hunt these things down. Oh, there's also a, a free roam mode that you can unlock too if you want to do free roam. So that's kind of a cool extra. So going past that, we are doing the story. We are hunting down dinosaurs. We're probably going to get, I'm assuming, one hunted down today. Just to give you a little bit of a, a tease as to what to expect uh, gameplay-wise. So yeah, they've done some really cool things with this. So in the game, you can see like we walk past uh, vending machines. So you can take this energy that we're collecting here. And little cubes and stuff like that. Power. Oh, jeez, really? And then you take that... And then you're able to go to the vending machines, put in a bunch of the energy, and you get like a power up, which is really cool to use. I was expecting it. My suits last a little bit longer. So it's hard to get more of them out here in the field. 
Uh, but past that, uh, you can also use the energy to go to those turrets, and then the turrets will start shooting away and helping you out. So it's a cool, interesting, like, you know, side mechanic in the gameplay that I think is very well done. We'll do that right there. Just an extra little layering on top of it. Oh, jeez. Where do we respawn? Uh, we'll, do, we'll do the red one this time. See, we got the energy here. You can put that in the machine. And it'll spit out a little extra thing for you. We've got TNT drone. At least they have good checkpoints if you die. I do appreciate that. There's so many dinosaurs. Really great designs, though. I, I really like the look of them. I think they did a great job with the creation of this stuff. Uh, that being said, I have noticed some minor little issues here or there. Just kind of in regards to getting back to, like, the selection menu. It, it feels almost like you have to start up another game in order to do the... Why am I getting just attacked so much in this? It's ridiculous today. Uh, I ran through this earlier, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's just kind of, like, a, a little bit awkward sometimes to get back, because I feel like I have to restart the entire thing in order to do so, which is a bit tiring. Uh, but yeah, this is cool, and there's uh, some other little glitches too, uh, when we get to the, the last stand mode. Ooh, wow, we can actually blow these up. Cool. Yeah, when you get to the last stand mode, it seems like there's at least one dinosaur that's kind of left behind. And, you know, just like one or two little hitches here or there, kind of like hold this back from being like a really just perfect world that they created. Because I really do love like the visuals, they've taken the destructive bots in, near, in like neat new ways just in regards to like the aesthetics and the, the design of them and the creatures you're fighting. I think the dinosaur idea is genius and I'd, I'd love to see them, you know, try different things you get like new upgrade stuff too as you're playing. Oh jeez, yeah, there we go. I just might as well use a missile. And it, it's fun being in like this big suit going around and like blasting away at dinosaurs and stuff. I, I think that's really cool and I think they nailed that aspect of it. Hopefully we don't get the TNT, we just gotta like blow this stuff up. Yeah, we're nearing our big dinosaur foe here. What are you... Ah, these dinosaurs are getting tired, so many of them. They're really disrupting the action if you know what I mean, but yeah, it's just kind of really well done. I, I like the aesthetics, the design of the world, the custom animations, the, the dinosaur creations are really cool, and then you get like these fun little boss fights like we're getting in here. It's gonna be a big boss battle going on. Boss lair discovered. Let's see what we can do. There's this T-Rex. But yeah, I, I think this is really fun. It's really cool to be, be a giant mech thing running around going doo -doo 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 -doo, blasting and you know, it, it's kind of cool. It's, it's very interesting, and I, I think it is a good follow-up to their original design, because, you know, that is, like, really what I would consider, I suppose, a, a classic map for this game. Oh, we're getting the drones out there. The TNT drones! Oh, jeez, we died. That's not good. I'm dying a lot more than usual, but... Yeah, you get some cool abilities, too, in the, the power-up machine. I like what they've done with that, because last time you just kind of, like had a, a big tray of uh, abilities, I guess you could say, that you just kind of pick from, like, crates and stuff. Oh wow, this place is, like, super torn up. Oh, and he's completely fine. Boss defeated! Yeah, good job, guys. You may have defeated one of my children, Destructobot, but you will struggle with the rest. I have seen you, and I know your type. You are weak, Down you go. small minded Stupid, just like the rest of them. You're nothing more than a walking heap of bruises. Apologies, soldier. She's still hacking into our systems, but we're dealing with it. So don't you worry. Good job on getting that first big dinosaur. Only two more to go. Keep up the good work, soldier. Cool, so we're going to keep looking for the dinosaurs. We're going a little bit faster than I anticipate, so we'll show off a bit more of this, and then we'll jump into the last stand mode so you can see what that is like. But yeah, really great detail in the world. A lot of depth. Like you can look in the far distance and you can see like every little area of this has some sort of interesting little design to it. You know, it's very complex, it's detailed. They took the time to make this a very interesting world, and I'm getting just cut up by the dinos, which I'm not liking because my mech is gonna explode. Very clean interface, very cool monsters, your well dinos that you're fighting. 
And I imagine we'll maybe see more of this in the future, which would be cool, because I do really find the Destructopods funny. I thought it was like such a great initial kind of kickoff in the store. It was a really good touch. And seeing this release here was like a complete shock to me, because, you know, I, I didn't anticipate it in the slightest. It was just like a complete another surprise. Oh no. From where are these stupid big dinosaurs? Oh no. Gotta die to get my suit back. I just wish it was kind of like easier to get your suit without having to like die or something like that. It just seems like a bit, you know, difficult to do that. Here's a fun little Easter egg. That's definitely the X-wing. <laughs> Crashed in there. Oh jeez. I'm getting shot at by all these dinos. Ugh. Yeah, and I think now is a good time to switch over. Great. So here we can show off the next part of this. They redo the thing because I started it over again. We can switch to the right, we see Last Stand, and we can switch it again, we can see the locked, uh, kind of, free roam, we can lock in here, we do the Last Stand, and we'll just watch the, uh, the opening here again. This is so cool seeing this stuff. Kind of fly out. That's some next level animation style for Minecraft, that's what that is. Really cool. So we get a couple choices, commercial, industrial, office, residential, but we'll do uh, office. So you get a few of them. Lock in, you get your high score countered. And then we wait a second, then we're able to push to deploy and get onto these survival maps. Come on. It just takes a second every time, especially when you start up. It is nice that it keeps track of your score, though. And this one's a little bit easier to come back from. Great, so we're in here. Fresh start. Gotta get ourselves a robot we haven't done purple yet. Cool little eagle type thing. I like it. So then you go up, and then you're in this kind of like locked in area. We've got a core we've got to defend. Where are you, core? And uh, I think it'll be arriving. Yeah, right, right here. Here it is. And then you kind of get like this slice of life. So I think they could really do this with a lot more uh, maps and stuff in the future. I mean, I don't know if they add content to maps these days, but you get the gist of it. You get a slice of what it's like. Uh, all the different areas are different, whether it's like, well, all the different areas are different, yeah. Like the uh, residential, you see the, you know, commercial, they all have different looking buildings and stuff. So one aspect I really like about, um, you know, these micro maps, especially with like big destructive mechs, is that you can actually see the destruction and detail. It's kind of cool because not a lot of other games can do that. And you can just like totally blow this place up, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, so kind of a, a neat additional mode to this pack. I do appreciate having this kind of thing because I think it adds extra little uh, value to your play as you're able to defend something, which I am doing a horrible job of. But yeah, the generator seems to get like damaged fairly easily. And then it's a rush to get back there. The Velociraptor slay me. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, it's just a little bit quite easy to uh, destroy that. Is there a dinosaur inside of it? Yeah. And then one thing I have noticed is that like there always tends to be one kind of dinosaur left, and then you can't really find them. You gotta like look around for where they are, and that aspect is a little bit annoying. But yeah, it's a cool extra mode for sure. I, I do like its inclusion, and I think this is a really well done pack. I mean, you get. Pretty cool little hunting campaign, really awesome mechs, neat designs, and the customization effort on the mechs. Fantastic here, they look so cool. It does block your HUD quite a bit, which is annoying, I wish there was more, a little bit more opacity, but seriously, the texture work, the uh, intricacy in the world, especially the, uh, the boss fight map, that one is just, you know, so much little details in it, really fresh, distinct areas, a free roam area to kind of battle all those dinosaurs in is... So neat and very well done. See, we're at this stage again where it's kind of like, where are you, last dinosaur? And it's kind of a little bit hard to see them, especially the aerial ones seem to be the last ones left. And you can't, again, see that due to the, the cutoff there. But, yeah, I kind of find this dinosaur somewhere. You get the gist of what I'm saying where it's like, ugh, it's kind of hard to find things. You just got to blast off a way to kind of come across it, which is a little bit weird, quite honestly, but eventually I'll, I'll find this dinosaur. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this this look at here. It's really cool to see Destructobots back, and I kind of hope we get to see them 
Again, because this was a complete, complete surprise. I had no idea they were doing this one. And it's really nice that they were able to, you know, kind of surprise release this one. Especially because I've been playing them since they first released into the marketplace. Uh, the Destructobot map was one of the first ones. And I think that's sort of really cool to see it evolve later on in time. Because I know a lot of people have really enjoyed this one. Checked out the other, other thing I did showing off the first map. Which was a lot of fun in a group of people. So, yeah. No idea where the dinosaur is. Eventually, pull stuff up, we'll find it. But those are just some of the issues that kind of detract from like what is a really, really awesome and well-designed um, sort of experience on here.